So that's Thomas River? Night number four. So for the first two nights, we stayed in Esperance in that um, at Caravan Park kind of thing, and then last night we stayed in um, uh, on the beach. And then today we are at Point Malcolm. That's my uncle, and my aunt, my grand uncle and aunt. Um, they've got their setup. That's me, my tent. And no, oh, they also have like a fireplace and a swing. You've never been back to where you were born? No. no. Were you born in a, in a nursing no, no. hospital there in the town? No, no, it was, it was too small a town to have a hospital. It can't we'll all go to town now, we'll all go to town. Yeah, what? Yeah. Before I get to town. Like yeah, before I get This is the old telegraph station. Um, you know, now it's in ruins, but yeah. Cook's Cottage. Um, it's right next to the old telegraph station that we just saw. And inside is basically, it's just a rundown cottage, um, but apparently you can see a lot of these in the outback. I'm here at the Bill Bunya Sand Dunes. Um, not very many people in Australia get to see this, so I'm extremely fortunate. Um, no, you gotta make angel wings, Ernie. Come on, gang. Send angels. Campsite night number five. That's my tent, and we're gonna do another bonfire for there. And we're basically in this little clearing campsite area, um, literally in the middle of nowhere in the Australian bush. Yeah, exciting. Put this one on. Yeah, go on. Alright. Beautiful fire with a beautiful sunset. Okay. Hold on, he's fingering me. Oh, hang on, it didn't work, did it? No, don't, 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 don't. No, no, no. Mm. Tree, tree Roll. 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 Don't hurt yourself. Good. Who needs tin foil and everything in there? Tulina Cove on the Baxter Cliffs um, and this is all on the Great Australian Bight um, which I forgot to mention is so on s the map of Australia you can see um, 
the south part, there's a big chunk of it that looks like just someone took a bite out of it. That's why it's called um, the Great Australian Bite. And so uh, a lot of it is just sheer cliffs, which is called the Baxter Cliffs. And right now we're at Tulina Cove, which is where, um, which was the only place that was remotely accessible by ship and um, it's like just sloped a little and they had a rope and everything so it's the only place that ships could potentially come in to you know give off their tar cargo or whatever they had so yeah here it is Baxter Memorial. Killed here by natives. Sounds like we're in America, doesn't it? <laughs> Campsite night number six? Yes, night number six. Um, yeah, that's the stuff. Gonna do another fire here. And that's Colin and Shelly's tent. That's my tent over there. And we have a camp dog. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Hey, Ernie, would, if you started playing, he'd be up. Ernie would be oh, down there. Look. <laughs> Must be in the boots. Plus, no, different yeah. shoes tonight. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh, well done. No, no, not well, really well done at all. length of time you've been here. Oh, it's a bit pathetic, isn't it? No, that's not. I had a crack at a couple of big ones. Kaiguna Roadhouse. First sign of civilization in about maybe four or five days. <laughs> four days, four days. I am here in Belladonia Station. Um, it's another roadhouse and we are here in the museum. And this is a bit of satellite that came crashing down to this area and they just made, built this really small museum. Um, you can see it's the United States. So we really need to keep our junk out of random countries. <laughs> we got a flat tire. I mean, I've heard about people getting upset, but... I need a it's a competition now. Who gets the best flat? Who gets the best what? Flat like a tire. <laughs> Close call, huh? Well, yeah, so far you got the best beer can competition. Yeah. And, and Ross like has got the best tire <laughs> Why? What's the, what's the, why the best one? Night number seven. This is the last night of our camping trip um, to the Australian bush outback. So we've got another fire going and beautiful skies, of course. And this is Uncle Brian and Annie Mo's tent, or where they're sleeping, making yummy food. And that's my tent. This is day eight, the last day of our um, camping trip to the Australian bush, and we are here in Hayden at the Wave Rock. Um, Hayden. Hayden, not Hayden, sorry, Hayden. <laughs> and it's basically just a rock formation that looks like a wave. Do a better job than me, Jasmine, because I don't want to get dirty. Yeah. <laughs> You're already dirty, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. 
red? Red is its name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too many people are watching. Oh no, they get greedy. Mm. Oh, I see it. Come on! Yeah, I reckon oh, oh. Yeah, they oh, do that. Is that right? That's Rosie. Rosie the lamb. That was the one last year. Oh, the cutie! There's only two chooks. There's only one chook left now. There's two, two. Yeah! One in there. So how often do you feed her? Twice a day. Morning and night. Hi, so um, we're on our way back to Mandurah after our four wheel drive trip, and we decided to stop by um, Emma's farm, which is Shelly's daughter. Um, and so she has three kids, they're, you know, riding a bike around, and um, I just fed a calf for the first time. It was really cool. Um, so this is their farm. That's their house, um, you know, a pool for the kids. And then all of that land over there. Oh, it's a bit dark. It's a bit light. Hello. Hi. That's Jocelyn. We have a bunch of cows. Hi everyone. I just got back from um, our four-wheel drive out uh, camping trip to Australian outback and the bush, and it was an absolutely fantastic trip. Oh my gosh. Um, I got to see part of Australia that probably not most Australi Australians have seen and it was just absolutely amazing. Um, we were just camping out and it was all natural and like for f like four or five days we didn't come in contact with any civilization and it was just absolutely fantastic. I'm very fortunate to be able to go do, th um, do that. But it was a great experience and um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm back home, or not home, but back in Mandra and um, looking forward to the next part of my trip.